What is up guys, Hazy here. I just wanted to say thank you for clicking on this video. We had a great time playing Diana. I think this was my first time actually playing the new Diana. We had a real gobstopper of a game. So enjoy the video. Make sure to subscribe, leave a like and a comment and I'll see you on the next one. I definitely want some MR this game. Um, maybe a Banshee's Veil. 60 magic resist. They have four champs that primarily deal AP damage and their ADC isn't super long range. So it's not like he'll just kite and destroy all of us. There'll be a little bit of a He'll have to play a little bit ballsy, and hopefully we can just kill him. Uh, I tried to move the wave over so I could save that minion, but it didn't matter. Oh, I am farming so bad. I almost got her there, um, a little bit unfortunate. Uh, I'm just gonna do this for the power spike, the blasting ones. It lets me like tech into um, Banshee's Veil early if I wanna get it early, but it also gives me the flexibility to do Ludens if I get a couple kills and wanna snowball. So we traded alties. I think it's her alti. Wow, that hit me. I think her alti is um, more important than my alti. Gives me more kill pressure when my ignite comes up in a minute. I'm getting flamed because I didn't uh, rotate early game, which is fair. I think I could have gotten a kill. If I rotated. Oh, I almost lived there. That was close. So, I mean, I don't think going one for one really warrants the... I can still okay. I can still pick up fiendish codex and not commit to Banshee's build this early. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do that. It's kind of a weird build path, but 
so it looks like I'm pretty much committed to Banshees though with these two items, but it also lets me go Ludens if I randomly get a couple more kills and not completely screw my build because then I can just go Zhonya's. If I have a couple kills and I'm zoning uh, and I'm snowballing like that, it probably doesn't matter that I don't have the MR. I almost was able to turn there. Let's go. Easy PC. That's a neat little trick you can do with Diana if you're new to the champion. Always, uh, if your minions are affected with Moonlight, you can still get the double dash. Mario Kart style. We can get this guy real quick. All I have to do is hit him with the dash. Not quite getting the assist, but that's okay. Let's get some plates while we're here. Hmm. Now this is where we have to make the crucial decision. I think Banshee's Veil is too good. I'm going it, guys. I'll rotate. I mean, the wave is in a neutral position, so we're kind of just trading power. Or trading creeps, trading gold to do this. Um, I'll cut her off just to make sure she doesn't escape, and maybe... Hmm. They went back into the Lissandra one of them died uh it wasn't necessary but it's not that big of a deal right i have a pink ward here so i know he doesn't see me um oh oriana came i thought oriana died i don't know why but the wave's still in a pretty good spot for me it didn't push really hard so you know the roam was completely unpunished and i'm almost 20 cfs up on the oriana i'm uh, on the lissandra so things are looking very good for me. Traditionally, um, you do not want to be at 66 farm at 12 minutes, but, you know, if that's where we are, that's where we are. They only have 45, so it's more of a give or take. Uh, I don't actually know if I'm supposed to be leveling up E, second, or W. Echo's top lane. Um, just get two autos. I'll probably be going Merc Treads this game as well. Oh, it's going to be close, if this is worth it or not. Oh, nice. So we did go two for one. Um, three for one, probably. That was a super greedy play on Lissandra's part. Not the smartest. I should be unkillable. We should be going for this dragon. I wonder if Oriana's gonna keep fighting this. Oh.
she's gonna ult you here. We can walk over like this. Good stuff. Hmm. What do I want to go for? I might just go for Ludens. Typically, you want to get this item first, but I th I still think it's strong with my gold lead. And, like, I really want the 20% CDR, right? That'll give me 30 CDR. Jinx, Jinx cannot uh, go for the turret right here because that goes bot side. The Banshee'sville makes it hard for this gank to work out, right? Mundo's right here, but it's not like she can E at me and then Q me, or um, ulti me. Not sure why I said Q. She can't E at me and just like ulti me from a full lane away, you know, that combo, um, because of my Banshee'sville. So it makes me really safe. I'm not sure if, I don't think Mundo's still here. If he is, he's wasting a lot of time, but I didn't see him back up at all. He might still be here. Never mind. We are 27 farm up, two kills up, or one kill up, but she's two kills. Let's just try to blow up Echo as quick as possible. We're gonna do this, right, when the, nice. We can, uh, we ulted them right there to make Kindred survive for maybe just a second longer. My E's up in 8 seconds, that's what I'm waiting for. Trindamir should be able to face tank this though. Good stuff. I don't have any mana to push this wave super hard, but Trindamir's here to help. I'm gonna walk behind the minions so I don't get hit by this. I thought Lucian was going to start running away, so, I, and I think Jadimir and I both had the same thought. Got the assist there. I just wanted the assist, so I just walked up and auto-attacked her. I can't believe a lot of us just died right there. All they were doing was walking down mid at us, and Jinx is alive. Surprising. Um... So, is this worth it? No, not at all. Was it cool? Hell yeah. I thought I was going to do slightly more damage, to be honest. I didn't realize I'd have to auto attack her a couple times after combo. Jinx is just standing there like a kiting genius. Interesting Kindred ultimate, kind of unnecessary, but better safe than sorry. Um, I can not fight her, but I can definitely just like walk up on this. Okay, maybe fight her. Oh. How many cannons have I missed? I'm gonna guess I've missed like four cannons so far. Was not expecting to see an echo right there. I was just going to place a deep ward. Um, I'm gonna place one of these because I know Oriana just placed that ward. Just kind of fighting for vision around the Baron pit. Very good. This should be a Baron. Let's try to force this with Chindamir pushing the bot line. This is definitely the, the target. Chindamir decided to come, which is probably the smarter idea. 
Oh, I'm boosted. We're gonna get him though, so it's okay. I'm gonna go for Azonia so I can play a little bit ballsy. I'm gonna wait for the um, stopwatch, and I say this kind of often. I like to wait for the stop. Like I like to get the stopwatch as the first component. You'll see a lot of the high, le high level players do it, and it's because the fights that happen right now are really gonna cement the game in our favor. And the stopwatch is such a swing item that it can make or break a fight the way you use the stopwatch. So with those two factors um being able to use the stopwatch uh effectively in these next couple fights can just seal the game off lt up again so i'm kind of looking for a. I didn't have e up there so this whole fight was a little bit hard completely alone here so i would recommend we push bottom lane this gives us dragon control as well as um There's Dragon for us. I don't know what he was doing. I think he kind of just wanted to tussle a little bit. And he really has no chance of fighting me with my MR while I'm doing that much damage. This gives me 40% CDR, which is super nice. And that's the game they surrendered. Into gold three. Gold three. 12 wins, 6 losses. Thank you guys so much for watching.